hello hello and welcome to another little studio vlog i feel like the lighting's really weird i have to put the blind down because the sun's blinding me but then it kind of creates like this weird two-tone effect on my face in today's vlog i am gonna attempt <laughs> to create a chilled vibe we're going to be crafty i'm basically ditching all the admin elements of my job for the day i don't want to edit i rarely want to look at a screen i want to be hands-on so we're going to use my acrylics that i got from artisa we're going to use the canvases that i picked up which i'll show you in a second and we're going to get creating um this was sort of actually it was heavily inspired by these prints behind me now these prints are from Desenio, they've been in my background for a while and I've had an array of Desenio prints up here and around my entire house and Desenio have actually sponsored this little segment of the vlog so I wanted to show you some of the new prints that I've picked up. I'll have a link down in the description for the ones I selected. A bunch of these are picked for my new house so watch out for that. My mum also picked a few and then there's a few going to go up in my bedroom and yeah as you can see I unboxed boxed them the other day we have so many to choose from you can see my mum chose a couple of pink ones and I think my favorite of the bunch is this one here it's like a gold foiled one and I just think it's beautiful and the color theme in my new bedroom in my new house is going to be like a dark green so I feel like this alongside maybe like a light whiter print We'll just tie it all in together. Desenio have actually given me a 30% discount code. So if you use the code Alice Thorpe at checkout, you can get 30% off. This doesn't include hand-picked prints, frames, or personalized prints, but there are thousands to choose from. Honestly, I spent ages scrolling. So you can get 30% off from the 18th of February. So from today until the 21st of February. So if you want to make the most of that discount, use it quickly order yourself some beaut prints let me know what you picked up and i'm gonna go put these up now you'll have had a little sneak peek of what i've already done and then hopefully we can feel inspired especially this one i feel like this one is the vibes i want to go for with this acrylic painting i want to do some like abstracty vibes but colorful i want to sort of recreate this and this Will it happen? Will it make sense? Who knows? But I'm gonna get my acrylics out now and we're gonna see how that goes. So yeah, thank you very much to Senio for sponsoring this little section of the vlog. And yeah, let me know what you pick up if you buy anything using my code. I got these canvas things from Home Bargains and they were just four small square canvases. These were really cheap. I actually saw similar ones in Hobbycraft, but the Hobbycraft ones were so expensive, so I ended up not buying them. Um, so when I saw these ones, I was like, this is a no-brainer. Now, what I've done oh, is I've created a Pinterest board, which is home to a bunch of different acrylic paintings. Now, the theme I have noticed, in fact, let me just, let me just show you. Okay, let's go back. So the theme that I've ended up with is very abstract, which I feel like sort of is my kind of vibe anyway like a lot of my products are kind of abstract I love this so yeah I'm thinking maybe something sort of abstract looking in fact I've pinned some more on this let's just refresh um I love like this idea but less pastel colors more like warm shades um so we're just gonna go for it because I figured the more I think about it <laughs> the uh more I'm gonna put it off in fact, I also really love the pattern on the back of my phone case. So maybe I could do something along this style. I'm going to go and get like a bin bag or something to put on my desk so I don't have to like wipe up loads of acrylic. And then we'll break out the paints and the pens. So I have the acrylic pens, acrylic markers. I'll leave these linked in the description and I'll also link these two. These were very kindly gifted from Artisa a couple of weeks ago. Um, and these are amazing. I like swatch them in another vlog So I'll leave that linked in the description and on screen, but yeah, we've got a lot of different colors to choose from so hopefully I can make something that looks relatively nice We'll see but first I'm gonna go and get that bin bag because I am without a doubt gonna get this everywhere Hoping I don't get it on my lovely mint green tracksuit. We will see
I've just discovered a whole bunch of paintbrushes that I'd forgotten about and this little paint tray which I am 90% sure was from the Groovy Chick subscription magazine probably about 15 years ago I'm sure that's from that let me know if anyone else had that I'll see if I can find a photo of it <laughs> plan is if this looks nice I'm gonna put it on my like put it up somewhere in my office either in this office or in my new house maybe I'll change that print for the canvas I've also got my 100,000 subscriber plaque arriving soon, so that's going to be going somewhere. We're just going to like jazz up my space. I love this little area. I'm sort of collecting these from various small businesses, um, but I just want something brighter. So I suppose if it goes wrong, I can just paint over it. Okay, I guess first let's pick some colours that I like. I think I'm going to go with like warm tones to sort of match the office. I do have a swatch somewhere of all the colours. Here we go. These are all the colours I have to choose from. I like the warm colours, so love this. Terracotta, maybe red, mm, maybe not red. This is a selection I've gone for. I have this one, which I guess is a little bit cool toned, but otherwise these are all sort of earthy tone. I've got a bit of a purpley shade. Actually, it's not even purple, it's wine red. Let's just put you here. Do I do? like a solid colour in the background or do I just go for it? Okay, let's go with mustard yellow. Put it in my Groovy Chick tray, pan thing. Ooh, I love that colour. Then I guess we just build up some layers. Okay, this is kind of scary. Ooh, okay, I already love the texture of this. Then maybe this green, I feel like that's a pretty colour. All right, I'm gonna just continue. I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse and then we can revisit in a little bit. That didn't go well. So it's been about an hour and I'm not sure if you could tell from that time lapse, but I, pff, disaster struck, I guess. I don't know. So I used that green, which I said was really nice. Turns out I didn't like it. So then I painted it over in brown and then made a mess. So that's what the first canvas looked like. So then I thought we'd start again which meant I had to wait and be patient I feel like that's where I that's where I prefer digital art <laughs> um, because I have very little patience it seems so what I did I decided to paint this one like this kind of beigey colour this is the colour of me when I have a tan which is still not brown and then I also did this one oh, which is stuck to the paper which is sort of like a messy ombre and I did mean for it to be messy. I really like how thick these paints are, like this is just one coat and you can't see any white behind it at all. So impressed. It's dried pretty quickly to be fair. So I'm gonna take these back up to my desk and we're gonna try again. I guess I can try and rescue this one. We'll see, but yeah, let's come over here. I'm gonna rest you on the kitchen roll. <laughs> we're just gonna ignore this one for now. And inspired by the prints behind me, my Desenio prints, which I am obsessed with, I'm going to use warm tones, like I said, and just think about it a little bit more rather than just be crazy. Okay, so it hasn't dried. This is good. So I've got, I think this is yellow ochre. This is the one. I'm going to cross my fingers. <laughs> Should I have planned it? Maybe. Ooh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of like professional acrylic artists out there or even just semi-decent ones because we know I'm not like hating me and be, like pulling the hair out and looking at what I'm doing. We have terracotta which is what I started with last time. I think I'm going to do like a big squiggle. In fact I might do that at the end. Should I brave a green? I'm going to brave a green. This is a different kind of green. Okay. Mustard yellow. Terracotta. Should definitely be waiting for these to dry in between, but clearly I haven't learned my lesson.
Has anyone got any tips? I'm just... I mean, what is this? Come on. What is this? Is that nice? Is it terrible? I cannot decide. I was gonna try and do like a funky pattern on this, but now I'm just over these warm colors. So we have one canvas left, which I have yet to ruin. <laughs> so why not ruin it? I'm gonna do, which I feel like is probably a lot easier, like a seascape color one. So this is literally the color of my top. So this green, which caused me a lot of chaos earlier just lots of blues let's be a little bit more free we're thinking free we're thinking ocean we're thinking wow that's a darker blue than i thought it was gonna be okay we're thinking white and we're just gonna do it That'll do, donkey. That'll do. So now I've revisited this one, I don't quite hate it as much as I did. This one's cool. This one looks like I meant to do it. This one looks like I got angry. This one is just nothing. And let's not even go about this one. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, this this kind of didn't didn't go to plan. I don't hate the two that I've done. I wouldn't put them on my wall. Maybe I just had way too high of expectation. Now it was fun to try and like let loose and not think about it too much. And I think I much prefer the level of control I have with digital things. It's a practice thing, isn't it? I need to not like quit. I need to not just do a rubbish painting and then give up because I can't even imagine how many like rubbish paintings all these amazing artists do before they get any good but yeah i just i think i needed to plan it a little bit more i think it's a good lesson to sort of show i mean i could very easily like discard this vlog and not even upload it but i think it's important to show that even though yeah i do create like nice things i'm not necessarily an artist i definitely sway far towards the graphic design element of things and i very much use the power and the capabilities of a computer of like technology to my advantage i'm gonna i'm gonna sit on these um not literally sit on them because i'll they'll stick to me because they're still wet but i'm gonna sit on these um paintings the warm one is actually growing on me so we'll see but otherwise <laughs> I think the more I do, the more mess I'm going to make and the more frustrated I'm going to get. So I think it's a case of waiting until I'm in the right mood. Okay, for now, I'm giving up on the canvases because it's driving me insane. <laughs> um, I actually did just record a full clip of me sort of ending this vlog um, and I was about to pack up. But then I remembered something that I created <laughs> the other day, um, which is this. It's a booby pot. Um, I thought these boobs actually looked quite good, but I've since been told they look very saggy and they aren't very straight. Um, but yeah, I made a booby pot and I'm gonna paint her. I'm going with the color camel. Heart. I'm not sure I feel about the love heart theme I ended up going for but here is a pot that has boobs and hooray <laughs> um, 
so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog it's been a bit of a weird one to be honest um as i'm sure you saw from my long ramble that i will put in at some point um imposter syndrome is real perfectionism is real um trying my hardest to work on it last year i wouldn't have even used any acrylic paint i've always had this thing of like not wanting to waste supplies but it's never really a waste even if you just do it for yourself and it's like cathartic is that the right word like good for your head then it's never a waste like i never used to open things because i was scared of wasting them but what is a special occasion like what is a waste you just got to kind of do it today rather than like putting it off so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this very different vlog hopefully i made something decent to watch in the end um thank you for watching don't forget to check out artisa thank you so much you guys for sending me these supplies and also don't forget to check out decenio and use my discount code so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time